Namaste everyone. Welcome back to Live Stronger. Today we are going to work on our chest again uh, in our transformation journey. We are going to start off with our dynamic stretches, do our warm ups and then go for our working sets. I will try to do some variation of the incline bench press today. Let's see how it goes. So without any delay, let's begin with our dynamic stretching. For the dynamic stretching, we are going to start off with our greatest stretch. I am just going to get my track pant in place. So let's begin. We will do 5 repetitions each side. Knee up, push wide, drop down, try to reach and then turn. Hold for a couple of seconds, not more than that. Sufficient. And turn. Repeat. Make sure you feel the stretch on your inner thighs, on your glutes, on your hamstrings, on your upper back. The shoulders getting compressed. Let's go, a couple more reps. While doing this exercise, if like me, you tend to shift from one angle to the other, it's absolutely fine. If you are doing it on a yoga mat, you can go a little bit slower to stay on the mat. Just one more rep. Hold. Yep. That felt good. I am just going to switch into a deep squat to open my hips up a little bit. No matter what body part I am working on, I like to deep squat at least once a day. Shift my weight around, see all, identify any kind of tightness, everything feels good. So let us begin with our warm up exercises. So for our first warm up. I am going to do the uh, flies on the flying machine, which I have. If you do not have this, you can use the cable crossover machine at mid height to do the same exercise. Make sure your chest is up, shoulders are back and you squeeze your chest as your arms come forward. So one cue which I usually use to make sure I squeeze my chest and every rep is to push my chest muscles together with my biceps. So trying to get my elbows to touch each other helps me really well. Feel the contractions, the blood rushing in to get the chest contracting. I think I did about 15 to 20 reps. That felt good. So we are done with our first warm up. Now let's move on to our second warm up. For my second warm up, I have set up a bench at an incline and taken a weight which is not very heavy, at the same time, not very light because sometimes I feel the dumbbells which I take are quite a light weight. So just a bit of weight to feel the uh, gravitational push back and then start doing my dumbbell incline bench press. The focus still is the same, trying to get our chest together. So as you go down, your arms go out, the chest stretches. As you come back up, 
you try to bring the dumbbells towards the midline of your body so they touch each other so your bi your chest squeezes keep your wrist straight don't let your wrist you know bend backwards you might feel a little bit of tricep activation that's absolutely fine Ooh, that felt good few repetitions we're done with a warm up set now let's begin with our working set so for my working set i've taken a challenging weight and as i mentioned earlier i'm trying i'm going to try to do a variation of inclined bench press wherein i challenge myself more by not increasing weight but the way i do my repetitions so let's begin i'll explain as i do get myself comfortable i'll do couple of repetitions with both my arms and then switch to unilateral training so one two now when i come down keep one arm constant and only push with one arm one two now this arm stays down one two now this arm stays down one two now this arm one two quite challenging but let's keep going one two one two one two one two and one so that's the reason i did not go heavy cause when one arm rests or it's not technically at rest basically at an extreme amount of exaggerated stretch because of the weight pushing down it's a very nice exercise to get a lot of blood flowing into the muscle so we'll take a short break and go for our second set my second set i dropped the weight a little bit because i'm pretty sure i won't get the number of repetitions i want with the same weight as first so just dropped it but we are going to do the same variation so two pushes with both the hands and then come down one push at a time one two four two so let's keep going two at a time and i feel a lot of tricep activation <laughs> i think it's because trying to push really hard with one arm at a time but that's fine i can also feel my chest working really hard to push the weight up so that's a good second set now let's take a short break and go for our third set go for our third set again drop the weight a little bit Oof. position my arms I keep my elbows a bit closer to my body chest up and push first two reps and then arm stays down 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 let's do both runs 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 21 22 23 24 25 26 27 28 29 30 31 32 33 34 35 36 37 38 39 40 41 42 43 44 45 46 47 48 49 50 51 52 53 54 55 56 57 58 59 60 61 62 63 64 65 66 67 68 69 70 71 72 73 73 74 75 76 77 78 79 80 81 82 83 84 85 86 87 88 89 90 91 92 93 94 95 96 97 98 99 2000 2001 2002 2003 2004 2005 2006 2007 2008 2009 2010 2011 2012 2013 2014 2015 2016 2017 2018 2019 2020 2021 2022 2023 2024 2025 2026 2027 2028 2029 2030 2031 2032 2033 2034 2035 2036 2037 2038 2039 2040 2041 2042 2043 2044 2045 2046 2047 2048 2049 2050 2051 2052 2053 2054 2055 2056 2057 2058 2059 2060 2070 2071 2072 2073 2074 2075 2076 2077 2078 2079 2080 2081 2082 2083 2084 2085 2086 2087 2088 2089 2010 2011 2012 2013 2014 2015 2016 2017 2018 2019 2020 2021 2022 2023 2024 2025 2026 2027 2028 2029 2030 2031 2032 2033 2034 2035 2036 2037 2038 2039 2040 2041 2042 2043 2044 2045 2046 2047 2048 2049 2050 2051 2052 2053 2054 2055 2056 2057 2058 2059 2060 2070 2071 2072 2073 2074 2075 2076 2077 2078 2079 2080 2081 2082 2083 2084 2085 2086 2087 2088 2089 2010 2011 2012 2013 2014 2015 2016 2017 2018 2019 2020 2021 2022 2023 2024 2025 2026 2027 2028 2029 2030 2031 2032 2033 2034 2035 2036 2037 2038 2039 2040 2041 2042 2043 2044 2045 2046 2047 2048 2049 2050 2051 2052 2053 2054 2055 2056 2057 2058 2059 2060 2070 2071 2072 2073 2074 2075 2076 2077 2078 2079 2080 2081 2082 2083 2084 2085 2086 2087 2088 2089 2090 2101 2102 2103 2104 2105 2106 2107 2108 2109 2110 2111 2112 2113 2114 2115 2116 2117 2118 2119 2120 2121 2122 2123 2124 2
four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ah, almost felt like my chest is about to cramp. So that means I had good contraction, good connection. Take a short break, go for our second set. Let's go, let's go for our second set. I increase the weight. Let's see if I'm going to get my reps in. Well placed, chest forward. And try to touch my elbows. One. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, the last set really didn't happen. That was almost failure, especially on my right side. I was not able to pull very good at, at the same time very tough contraction so we'll take a short break maybe i'll drop weight a little bit and go for my third set go let's go for our third set i drop the weight down to my second set weight actually the first set weight because the second set was quite challenging so let me try get my repetitions chest up Try to get my elbows to touch. Oh, that felt good. Let's keep going. One, two, three, My right hand, for some reason, is feeling a lot greater contraction trying to do. So what I'm going to do is, let's do a couple more reps with half the weight, only with my left arm, because I feel there's some energy left here. Just one arm at a time. Now I feel that I've done, I mean, there was no partiality. Now both my chest muscles are tired. So we're done with the exercise. Take a short break and go for our third exercise. So for our third exercise, we are going to do push-ups. Now, if you're someone who can do push-ups, do them along with me. If you are confident, if you're strong, you can load them using a weighted vest or just by asking someone to place weights on your back. After completing one set, I'm going to tell you how to do push-ups if you can't do push-ups. So the stance I usually take is just shoulder width, nothing extraordinary, making sure the push stance is similar to what I use on a flat bench or an inclined bench when I'm doing the uh, dumbbell presses. So if my body is flat. This is where my arms are usually doing a inclined bench press. So this is where I place them here too. Okay. So now I get my feet up, get core, brace my core, keep my body flat, straight, and then push. felt really good and got a good amount of contraction. If you're unable to do push-ups, don't do 
half knee push ups. Instead, increase the height of your arm placement. So, use the bench here. So, lean, uh, place your arms on a bench and then do the push up. As simple. If even this is tough, do it on a wall. You stand against the wall and push yourself away from the wall. And slowly, uh, you know, the progression would be to get your arms lower and lower and lower and finally to the floor. And from there, you can start lifting your legs up and use weight to add on to your push up. So that's how you progress. But if you're unable to do push up, don't do the half knee push up. I really don't like it. It doesn't make much sense. Instead, just increase the height of your arm play, hands placement and it will help you a lot better. I'm going to do my second set facing forward so you can see my arms, how I place them. So, easy way is to just lay down and position your arms just beside your chest like you do on the inclined bench. From here, you can get up, steady them, raise your feet up and then push. Oof. No wonder failing the chest flies were quite tough and I took a very short break. But that's good. Chest is very pumped and every push up I'm doing feels like, uh, feels quite challenging. So good amount of work. I'm going to take a short break and go for our third set. I realized for my third set, I'm going to show you another way where you can try to get more push ups uh, if you're unable to do push ups or if you're able to do only one or two. Uh, instead of starting from the top, let's start from the bottom. So you lay down straight, place your arms just beside your chest, elbows close to your body. Okay, from here, push and then relax. Push. And then relax. Push. Relax. Push. Relax. It's still challenging, not easy, but at least you don't have to uh, stay in a uh, challenging position. You can relax down, take a couple of seconds, and then push back up. getting a lot of chest activation and my triceps are tired so that's one way or another way you can get push-ups out of yourself you can do the same thing even on a bench if you're unable to do push-ups on the ground go in a slant position lay down on a bench comfortable supported and from here try to push yourself up and then lay down again want to make it a little bit more easier push and then knee down get up lay back push relax so many ways to regress a push up and still push yourself up so that's it we're done with our third exercise. Next exercise, I'm going to train my forearms and instead of doing dead hangs, I'm going to do a forearm exercise which I've shown last time. Taking a bar, holding it back side, my palms facing back. Now let my palm, uh, let the bar sit on my fingers and then roll it up. Feel the contraction in my forearms. It's going to turn so you can see very clearly what I'm doing.
we are going to do almost uh, failure repetitions. The Q to the exercise is simple, roll the bar up, try to get your pinky finger to touch the your forearm, feel the contraction. about failure or near failure for me and now I'm going to do another variation of forearm exercise is simply holding the bar and rolling it forward this time no breaks so roll forward again working on our inner forearm if you want to work on your outer forearm you just roll it like you're accelerating a bike or a scooter. You don't have to add any weight. The motion of rolling is more than challenging enough. My forearms are tired. That's it. We're done with our exercises. Uh, static stretch. I'm going to use the Bosu ball stretch. <laughs> so, just going to lay down. If you don't have a Bosu ball, you can just use a stick or a rod which doesn't have any weight or is extremely lightweight. Don't use a bar that could be not so uh, efficient in terms of creating a stretch. Get, it also puts your shoulders at a stressful position. Just use ball on a light stick. So I'm just going to take the ball up. If you don't have either of them, I have in my static status video, I did, I realized when my mic goes off, you can't hear me well, my voice doesn't record well. I'm just going to place my mic forward. Yep, if you don't have a Bosu ball or a lightweight stick, you can use the other stretch which I've shown in my static stretches video where you go into a corner, place your arms on side of each corner and then push yourself forward. So you can do that stretch too, a couple of times, 15 to 20 seconds hold. And relax. Take a short break, 5 to 10 seconds, we go for a second set, making sure we feel that stretch. My chest feels like it is going to cramp, but it won't. And that's it for today. Thank you for joining. If you did like the workout, please do drop a like. If you have any feedback, give me the feedback in comments. I would try to adapt and I would try to incorporate any of the exercises you do mention. Uh, if you haven't yet subscribed, please do uh, consider subscribing. It would be a great, uh, a lot of positive feedback for me. Every subscription to my channel, I will make sure I'll keep pushing myself in this journey of transformation and strength. So I'm just finishing off one last repetition of the stretch. Really glad that we could work out together. Thank you on that note and I will see you on the next workout. You have a good evening.